I've tasted the most delicious cuisines from all around the world. LA has a lot of dining options. Can I find the scrumptious foods I've eaten on my travels here in Los Angeles? We'll soon find out. Welcome to The Melting Pot. Season one starts now. Welcome to The Melting Pot. I'm standing outside of India Sweets and Spices Chai Cafe. I'm starving Marvin. I'm about to try out some Indian food. You ready? Let's go. India Sweets and Spices Chai Cafe is a family-owned cafe and grocery store all in one. Namaste. Hi, how are you? Namaste. I can do that one. Here you will find a variety of snacks, produce, teas, grains, spices, along with delicious vegan and vegetarian cuisines. Yeah, here you go, chai for you. Please add sugar wow, in this, okay? This chai is amazing Thank too. You. Thank you. I had it the other day. Thank you. It's perfect. Look at that chai right there. I'm about to eat at India Sweets and Spices Chai Cafe. But first, let's enjoy this cup of chai latte. First up, tea with appetizers. very comforting cup of tea. Now, I didn't add any sugar to it. You can if you like, but I'm just having it with the milk. It's a chai tea with the spices and then with the milk added to it. It's customary to have a chai latte with a samosa, so this is what I'm gonna start off with. The samosa has mashed potatoes with the masala and then it's fried and you could dip it in the tamarind or the mint chutney. I'm gonna start off with the tamarind. Just a little spicy, crispy on the outside. You got the mashed potatoes and peas and inside. It's just a fusion of a lot of flavors. And you got the tamarind to offset the spiciness. Now I'm gonna try it with the mint chutney. The mint chutney adds more spice to it, but has a clean taste, clean and refreshing taste. So very good dynamic right there. Okay, last bite. Mm -mm. Next up, entrees. I just had a samosa and these are all handmade and they make about 400 samosas a day and they just come out fresh and I had it with a chai latte chai tea masala latte and the spices they use here are ginger cardamom a little bit of turmeric and some cinnamon it's quite unique actually and you could get a delicious snack a chai latte and a samosa for under four bucks. Namaste. Namaste. What's your name, sir? I'm Mohan. Mohan, nice to meet you. 
I'm at the Indian Sweets and Spices Chai Cafe. Can you tell me about your food? Of course, we we do have vegan and vegetarian food. Uh, and also we carry South Indian and North Indian specials. Uh, start with here, this is the samosa. And uh, this is the yellow lender patties. This is the white lender patties. This is the potato patties. This normally, and this is the pakora. It's meat pakora. It's made of spinach, onion, eggplant, and potato, sliced one. And uh, here is banana fry. Here is eggplant. Here is cheese pakora. And here is chili pakoda, and here it is uh, cold flour pakoda. This normally in India we use as uh, appetizers, along with the tea or coffee. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the entrees? Oh, it's here. That goes like this because uh, where should we start? It comes with the uh, uh, the combo. We have the combos. The yes. combo start. The combos means it, it start with one item. Sorry, two item, three item. Specials we have. Okay. So start with any of the rice. Uh huh. Okay, the lentil curry is vegan. Vegan. The garbanzo beans curry, vegan. Uh -huh. That one's vegan. Plant with potato. Uh huh. This potato on the grill. Uh huh. It's vegan. Vegan. We come here then. This is potato stew. Potato stew. Vegan. Vegan. Cauliflower with peas. Okay, vegan. that's a vegan cauliflower peas. This is bitter melon, bitter melon with bitter onion, melon. with onion. It's uh -huh. vegan. Vegan. And these are the special entries. That is uh, this veggie chicken. Uh huh. And this is jackfruit curry. Uh huh. And this is a uh, uh, cheese with the chili. Okay. This is spicy. And these okay. are specials. Uh huh. Those are the spicy dishes. Yeah, we got these, three spicy dishes spicy right here. Dishes, yeah. Okay, and, and when, then when we come the vegetarian, we have the cheese with peas. Uh huh. We have a spinach with the cheese. Uh huh. We have a yogurt curry. Uh huh. Punjabi style. Uh huh. Punjabi uh, style. Punjabi style. Wow. Yeah. And does that one have cheese in it as well? No yogurt. It's yogurt. So yogurt that one doesn't have cheese. Yeah. And also we keep change the menu every day. Okay. So, so the menu changes tomorrow, daily. This menu, this. this, this Main entry will be here. Main, main entry is one, two, three. Uh -huh. This will be there. But this one keep on changing. Everything. Okay. So these these change. Okay. This change. This, okay. This no change. So the desserts come with the food too. Yeah. That one's called gulab jamun. Yeah. Wow. It's and made it's of, made, made of cheese. It's, this is called halwa. So the puddings the change daily too. The puddings change daily. Yeah. And this is the rava pudding. Uh huh. So we have rice pudding. We okay. have carrot pudding. Okay. Uh, we have molina. We have the second shot. We have oh, vermicelli pudding. Rice, so these are the different kinds of pudding that we make. I have changes on a daily basis. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to have a mango lassi, but there's also other kinds of lassi. Hi. What's your name? Jewel. Jewel. And can, what other lassis do you have available? So we have strawberry lassi, uh -huh. we have mango banana lassi, uh -huh. and if you're vegan, uh, we have the soy vegan lassi as well. You can get it in mango. Okay, thank you very much. No worries. Hey, what do we got here? Jalebi. Jalebi? Uh-huh. This one is besan ledu. Besan? Ledu. Ladu. Uh, this is basin burfi. Okay. Other one is uh, patisa. Mm -hmm. Cashew, masala, cashew. Oh, wow. Let's meet the family. Namaste. 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 Tell me about your restaurant and grocery store. <laughs> this restaurant, in this concept, India Sweet Spices, started in 1984. Mm -hmm. So this is the first store. Then uh, they that then they had a lot of uh, franchises in their sweet and spices. Okay. So is it related to the other India sweet and spices in LA? All are now independent. Okay. So this is a family-run business. Can you guys introduce yourselves? We got this lady right here to begin with. Susan. She's Susan. She's the owner and also the creator of the, all the recipes. Yes, yes. And she learned how to cook herself, she said. I learned from scratch, then uh, rest I learned from some people, their cooking. I look, I watch, then, I'm, <laughs> then I know how to make. We make mostly South Indian dish. We make dosa, 
sambar then other things we make a malai kofta everybody like our malai kofta people waiting for malai kofta every, every, <laughs> every saturday we have people are waiting for that oh wow okay eggplant potato so we have a special jackfruit curry every day yeah. oh jackfruit curry mm -hmm. okay then we have yogurt curry every day punjabi punjabi yogurt curry punjabi uh -huh, style uh -huh, uh -huh. then uh, we have spice south indian specials like uh, masala dosa plain dosa uttapam vada sambar idli sambar like the north indian style we do have chana bhatura then uh, chana puri uh, then uh, all the type of parathas fresh parathas oh, oh, wow. home homemade parathas mm -hmm. okay okay so it's like little india which you can find here Uh -huh. yeah, you get north indian food south indian food or any type of chaats that you know indians love chaat so any kind of chaat you get here and uh, any uh, any gravy whatever you like you know most of it like we have almost around uh, 12 to 15 gravies mm -hmm. and we have different options like you can choose combos you can choose uh, uh, you know you can choose the gravy separately so a lot of people come here and we're really busy like most of the days we're really busy weekends are like crazy busy Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that's how it goes, and she is the mind behind all of this, the beautiful <laughs> mind behind all of this. So. Uh huh. Uh huh. Susan. Susan. <laughs> okay, so that's Susan, and your name? Mohan. Uh, say again. Mohan. 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 I'm Jewel. Jewel, and Jewel. this is a family-run business right here. So, yeah, mostly uh, vegan and non-vegan also. Uh huh. Uh huh. Lot of vegan dishes we have. Mhm mm mhm mm mhm. And then um you were saying the specialty is everything is made from scratch. Yes. It's got the homemade taste. Mm -hmm. That is homely made the taste comes. Yeah. So anybody comes from India, you know, they feel at home. Mhm. Mm yeah. Mhm. Mm and it has a rotating um menu. Yeah. We rotated like every every day the menu changes. Mhm. Mm yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm so that's how it goes. And then you were explaining to me about the masala. What does masala mean? Masala is a mix of spices. Uh huh. It's a mix of spices. So every dish have different uh, different masalas. Excellent. So I'm I'm starving. So I'm gonna go eat right now. So I'm gonna get that three item combo and let's go check it out. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Next is time to dine. All right, the best part of the night has arrived. I'm going to start eating. Let's start with the mango lassi. Cheers. This homemade yogurt with mango. Okay, the last mango lassi I had was a long time ago in Hong Kong actually. Let me give this one a try. Wow, it's so good. You could taste the fresh mango and also the tartness of the yogurt. It's the best right here. The best. Mm. All right. Which item should I try? Let's start with the lemon rice. That's the lemon rice right there. Has a nice flavor. I think I'm gonna start with the jackfruit. That's the jackfruit right there. Hmm. Let me try another bite. It has a nice subtle taste, and the sauce is very good. The jackfruit texture is firm and has a nice texture to it. Cleanse the palate with some mango lassi. Let's go with the chickpeas. Let's try the chickpeas.
chickpeas is very nice. It has a nice spicy flavor to it. So far I'm liking the chickpeas more than the jackfruit. Let me try a piece of this naan. It's garlic naan. Excellent garlic flavor to it. I want to try the salad. Let's give the salad a go. Oh man, I like the salad. It has a fermented flavor to it. Salad is very good. Okay guys, everybody knows this dish. This is palak paneer. Which is a creamy spinach curry. What is this? Wow, that's good. I'm a huge fan of this one, the palak paneer. And this one is tofu, perhaps. It's very, very delicious. Let me re cleanse the palate with some mango lassi. Let's try the bell pepper potato. That's a piece of potato right there. Actually, that one's the one with the fake meat. And there is a very strong resemblance to meat. And this is delicious. Bell peppers. Another phenomenal dish right there. This one's spicy. And the bell pepper is very soft. I got some spicy dishes, the bell pepper and the fake meat. And the lentils are spicy, so that's why you gotta have a mango lassi to kind of cool off the spiciness. It gives it a nice balance, that yin and yang to your meal. So let's go with the next dish. Let's go with the chili cheese. This is chili cheese. Wow, that's some good cheese right there. Cheese dish is also very good. Next, I'm gonna go with the yogurt curry. Let's go with the lentils. Let's try the lentils. Lentils are a little bit chewy. You can go with the bitter melon. The bitter melon one is very good. Similar to the Chinese dish. Let's cleanse the palate with some mango lassi. Next item I'm gonna try, well, let me cleanse the palate again with a little bit of garlic naan. I still have to try the eggplant potato. That's the eggplant potato right there. A very filling dish because the potatoes are a little bit heavy. 
so I've tried every dish here. I'm gonna tell you which ones are my favorites. Oh, there's one I have yet to try. I believe this is the cheese and peas. This is the cheese and peas, guys. It's a little sweet, which I like. Very distinct, because a lot of these dishes are spicy. I'm a fan of the cheese, for sure. Okay, I've tried every dish, except the dessert, which I'm gonna try for you. And I'm gonna tell you my favorites. Everything was so delicious. I'm not finished yet, but I'm gonna get into the dessert right now. I got two desserts right here. I got the Gallup Jamun, and I also got the Rava Halva. That's the Gallup Jamun. It's an Indian cheese ball, and it's dipped in rose water syrup. And the next item is the Rava Halva, which is an Indian style pudding made of cream of wheat and nuts. All right, let's try these guys. First, I'm gonna try the Gallup Jamun. Man, that is incredible. It's soft and sweet and just falls apart in your mouth. The Gallup Jamon is delicious. Next, I'm gonna try the Rava Halva, the Indian pudding right there. You know what this tastes like, guys? It tastes like a chai latte pudding. Both are really, really delicious. The aftermath of my meal. Check it out. I finished everything. Eddie's picks and ratings. The food was delicious. Now I'm gonna tell you the musket items here. First, we're gonna go with, out of the three spicy dishes, we'll go with the veggie chicken. It has a texture of chicken and has a very delicious sauce. Next item that's a must get will have to be peas with cheese because it's a nice offset to all the spicy dishes that are served here. And that one, I believe, has a masala sauce that's similar to chicken tikka masala. The last item that I say is a must get is the yogurt curry. Definitely a very distinct taste. It's a yellow curry with spinach and chicle flour fritters in it. Okay, the mango lassi is definitely a key item because you're eating a lot of spicy dishes and that balances off the spice. Also gotta go with the garlic naan, the lemon basmati rice, and also for starters, you're gonna have to go with the chai tea masala latte with the samosa. Make sure to get the dipping sauces, which are the tamarind and the mint chutney. If I had to pick one dessert, I would go with the galup jama, which is the milk solid with the rose water syrup. So let me give you my ratings for this restaurant. For taste, I give it a 10. A 10. For, for quality, also, I give it a 10. For service, a 10. For uniqueness, I give it a 10 as well. And for price, also a 10. So that's a perfect 50 right there. Thank you to Susan. Mohan and Jewel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you on the next episode of The Melting Pot. Peace. Coming What's up, up on everyone? Next Welcome to another episode of The Melting Pot. Today we're gonna try Lanjo New Roman. Let's go check it out.
get into the noodles, guys. The moment of truth has arrived. This is what Lang Zhou is famous for. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you in the next episode of The Melting Pot.